I am Candy Wellens. I am the author of two picture books. Um, the first, now that I can show you, is called Saturdays Are for Stella. It came out last August with Page Street Kids. Um, it what, earned a Kirkus star and was named one of their best picture books of 2020. Um, and it was also um, an Amazon editor's best um, pick for the month of August last year. Um, and this is a story about a boy named George um, who loves spending his Saturdays with his grandmother, Stella. And I'll show you some of the beautiful artwork done by Charlie Eve Ryan. She has this beautiful muted color palette. Um, and so they have all of these wonderful adventures together. Um, and then one Saturday, George wakes up early, ready to spend a wonderful day with his grandmother and he finds his parents like this. And um, mom's eyes were all red and dad's nose was stuffy and grandma Stella has passed away and George has to learn how to transition and move on um, and handle that grief. Um, and a little sneak, I'll show you also this little awesome cover that um, they made. So here is George and Stella. And then if you look underneath, you'll see that a new Stella is going to enter George's life that helps him um, process his grief and remember their traditions they had together and celebrate um, family love. So this is a book all about um, changes and love and siblings and grandparents. Um, and it's gotten a lot of positive feedback too from social emotional counselors, teachers um, who have enjoyed using it. And this is my brand new picture book. It just came out on Tuesday. It's called The Stars Beckoned, Edward White's Amazing Walk in Space. And this is a picture book biography of Edward White, who was the first American to walk in space on June 3rd, 1965. He was also the first Texan in space. Um, and if you follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter and, and Instagram, um, my name Candy Wellens, you'll find the last 10 days I've been sharing fun facts about um, Edward White. Um, and this is a lyrical picture book. It's written um, in verse, um, but it tells all about his childhood fascination with the stars um, and how that led to first a career in the Air Force, um, and then later um, he became, um, of course, an astronaut with NASA, always looking toward the stars um, and then eventually became um, the first American to walk in space. And you can see I've actually marked up this copy because I was teaching some students this week rhyme scheme using the book. Um, and in the back, we have um, some photographs and historical notes. Um, I consulted with his um, two children on the book and so they actually shared this is a family photograph they shared and allowed us to use in the book um, and then there's a timeline of Edward's life as well. So um, two books that I just wanted to share um, and I know that I came in late and I'm running out of time but if anyone has any questions or wants more information um, I also have on my website www.candywellens.com I have teacher's guides to both books um, that are up and free to use. And then I have Pinterest boards for both that have a lot of activities as um, well. I tell the story that I, so I, I, I'm a teacher too. I'm, I'm a homeschooling mom teacher right now, but I've taught in the past and I was teaching middle schoolers about the space race when I wrote this book. Um, and so I just found this Edward White as a person, very fascinating. He, when he ended his spacewalk, he said, this is the saddest moment of my life. And he was reluctant to enter the spacecraft, which is why I wrote the story. So I had done the research, I had it in my mind. And one of my critique partners um, had submitted a story in verse. It was a biography in verse. And I loved it so much. I thought, ooh, I wonder if I could write biography in verse. It sounds so fun. And Edward was in my mind. And <clears throat> luckily his last name is White, which is very rhymable. Um, and so I just was kind of playing with all these words, light and night and bright. Um, and I was in bed and it just, it, it connected with, in my mind because he was born in San Antonio and I was started singing the stars at night are big and bright. And I was like, oh, and he's from Texas. And I was so excited. And so it just kind of started that way. And I'm fortunate that I was able to work it all through. <laughs>